Another tough extra innings loss for the Mets tonight. This one by a final score of 2-1. to one. A true pitcher's duel in this one with both walkers, Taiwan Walker and Walker Bueller, dominating tonight. The Mets struck first in this one with the first hit of the game for either team in the fourth inning. It was a solo home run by Michael Conforto. He's been red hot as of late, hitting 353 in his last 12 games, reaching base safely in all 12 of those games. Then the story grew on Taiwan Walker, who had cruised through six innings, allowing no hits and striking out seven on just 73 pitches. Will Smith, the Dodgers catcher who slugged the go-ahead homer in last night, night's Mets loss, had something to say. However, he struck again with a home run to tie the game at one in the seventh and break up Walker's no-hit bid. The following batter, Corey Seager, doubled, and Walker was out of the game after six and two-thirds with one run earned and on two hits and eight strikeouts. This start was huge for Taiwan Walker after a rough stretch in his last five starts where he gave up a combined 24 runs. The Mets hope certainly that this is a sign of Walker's returning to his first half all-star self. A start like this in a big game against the Dodgers, a really good lineup, may be that confidence boost that Walker needs going forward here, especially with injuries to Jacob deGrom and how important it is for pitchers like Taiwan Walker to step up big for the Mets going forward. Here's Taiwan Walker on his start tonight. Uh, like I've been saying, I feel like I've been going in the right direction the last couple of weeks. Uh, obviously, the results haven't been what I want them to be, uh, but body-wise, um, arm-wise, uh, velo and everything about my stuff has been getting better and better. Uh, since the all-star break and it's just been going in the right direction and um, I feel like uh, I'm in a good, really good place right now. After Walker left the game there was work to be done for the Mets pitching staff and Aaron Loop delivered. He came into a spot with runners on the corners first and third with two outs in the seventh. Uh, with the Dodgers threatening to take the lead the game was tied at one. He got Corey, uh, Cody Bellinger to strike out and end the threat. Loop has allowed just one run in his last 30 games dating back to May 22nd. In the bottom of the, sec uh, of the seventh inning, excuse me, the Mets got a quick chance with back-to-back -back base runners reaching against Walker Bueller, who had also been dominating all night long. But Bueller, like most great pitchers, bared down, finished his tremendous out outing by retiring the next three batters in order to end the inning. Bueller threw 110 pitches and struck out 10 batters over seven innings. Both teams won quietly in the eighth and the ninth, which pushed, pushed this game to extra innings for the second night in a row. In the 10th, the Dodgers took the lead on an RBI double from Corey Cody Bellinger. Yenzi Diaz was able to limit any further damage by striking out pinch hitter Justin Turner, stranding Bellinger at third base. So only the one runner, the inherited runner, at second base scored for the Dodgers in the top of the 10th. And the Mets pitching did their job. That's really all you can ask. Unfortunately, though, the Mets offense could not get it done. They went down quietly in the 10th in order to end this one. Final score, 2-1. to one. Here is manager Luis Rojas on the series so far and the team's attitude going into, to, into tomorrow. I want to say with the, with the hunger of coming back tomorrow and competing against these guys. So uh, that's, what we, that's, what we, that's the way we got we to leave out of this one. I mean, we didn't play sloppy today. Uh, we, didn't play, we didn't play sloppy yesterday. We had a really good seventh inning yesterday. Today we faced a tough pitcher. We, you know, and uh, even the relievers, they were really tough and we couldn't build anything. So, you know, right now you just gotta watch this one out and come back tomorrow, uh, Sunday night game, and uh, face Matt, Matt Scherzer, a guy that we know, and, you know, just be ready for it. It goes without saying, but tonight was a game the Mets really needed, especially with the Phillies and Braves both winning which means the Mets' deficit is now a game and a half behind first place, tied, of course, with the Mets, uh, with the Phillies and Braves. So they're a game and a half back of both teams in the NL East. The Mets don't need to be perfect over this 13-game stretch, like I mentioned in last night's report, but they really just can't afford to be swept, especially while the other divisional teams win and nights when these other divisional teams win games. They got to find a way to either split series or at least salvage a series and avoid a sweep that's what they're going to look to do tomorrow in the series finale. It's Sunday night baseball against the Dodgers. Not much more you can ask for. Max Scherzer on the mound as well. He's going to go up against Carlos Carrasco. After that, the Mets will head out onto the road for a seven-game road trip. They have three against the Giants and then four, once again, against the Los Angeles Dodgers. Signing off from another disappointing extra innings loss, 
I'm Sam Davis, WFUV Sports.